Hi guys, it's Jess. We're back here again at Drivers HQ. Tonight we're hosting Ladies Night and we're going to be speaking to the ladies. 10 out of 10, let's wait. I've been going big on the page out of state. Do research, check out the back of my place. I rep so heavy, your tech when I take. Still, I'm on that for the long run. That name that you got, say the right one. Don't try me, I rap like a python. Had enough of the talk, let me hustling. Got my name all came up off of nothing. Jersey gon' hang up like Jane, cause I'm chosen. Need my necklace and wrist, it's frozen. What do you find difficult as a woman in the car scene? Well, I find it difficult working on them because it's supposed to be a man's job. Okay. As women can do it just as better than so they can. You're a mechanic? Yep. You're a mechanic. Nice. Yep. Okay, we like that. Lady mechanic. People always saying is that your boyfriend's car and them not sort of appreciating that it can be a female's car. So do you go to car shows and car meets with your car and then people start talking to your boyfriend? Do you find that? Well, I haven't got one, but yes. <laughs> they would if that was the case. But it's quite often they'll go, oh, that's your boyfriend's car. I'm like, no, it's actually mine. So good, good that's one of the worst things, I'd say. The whole aspect of being a park and ride Okay. So basically, you get into, you know, the car scene because you want to get a lad and this and the other. When oh. truly it was because my dad and my stepdad got me into cars, so my oh. dad's had escorts and all sorts. So nice. And Porsches, so yeah. So not not the stereo stereotypical yeah. car girl. Yeah. As Real, you can see, I've got a Mazda too. It's like your typical daily. <laughs> so. Nothing wrong with that. No. Nothing wrong with that. Not at all. I don't know. Do people like underestimate your ability to do things on your car? Because I know you're quite hands-on, aren't you? Yeah, nobody actually believes you've done it. Yeah. I think there's a lot of stigma okay, in the car right. scene, definitely like for women. Um, I think it can be quite difficult. Some of the stuff like men have said to like females that like, I know in the car scene and myself can be quite hard. Um, but I should ignore them. You just go ignore them. Best thing to do. Yeah. Okay. Most guys think that girls don't know shit. Screw you. That's true. And you're a do-it-yourself girly, right? Definitely. Yes. <laughs> it's like your boyfriend's car. Mm -hmm. um, I, mainly the fact that everyone bypasses me and goes straight to my fella to ask him the questions, even though it's my car. Mm -hmm. I find that a bit stressful. But other than that, I've not really had any problems because I've been doing it since I was a kid. Yeah. So... Doesn't phase no, you anymore? it doesn't really phase me anymore. No, when everyone seems to know me, like in my circle and all of my friends and in places like that people know who I am now and they know they know you, it's mine. They, know the they, car. they know it's mine yeah so Brilliant. yeah that's nice <laughs> lovely being judged being judged for everything you do to your car um, how do you feel people judge you uh, I don't know like for example this bonnet why have you got that bonnet it's not fast do you know what I mean it just I think it looks good but you get judged for stuff like that all the time as a girl but it's your but car boys you know you're cool so they get away with a lot yeah but it's your car you can do what you want exactly. to it Fab. I think a lot of that is just genuinely people judging you thinking you don't know a lot mm -hmm. or just being like you know what's a wheel nerd and things like that like yeah. I get a lot of judgment especially when you go to like garages and stuff where they just think you're really uneducated with it and mm -hmm. have no clue or it's your boyfriend's car yeah mm -hmm. or did your dad buy that Oh, I get that with this. Burn. Yeah, a lot. Mm -mm. I get a lot of compliments on this, thinking it's my dad's car. Yeah. Is it, is it your granddad's car? That's, it's that's my granddad's car. Yeah. Is it your granddad's <laughs> car? <laughs> 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 my people long, won't be long till we all sitting on center stage, get right off what I do. I know they getting tight off how I move. I still ain't did a write off on these juniors yet. I never even claimed that we was cool. Really, I was just playing it by the rules. Still moving like I ain't got nothing to lose. But most of them won't know until I show them. And that's why I just try and keep it smooth. Did it all of my pride just to prove that I can. What's the sexiest car that a guy can drive? Probably a Ford Mustang. Ford Mustang. Yep. Nice. Old, sc old school or? Probably, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. <sighs> 370 in his mouth. Yes? Yeah. Okay. 100%. Yeah. Any particular reason why? It's just my favourite car. Your favourite? Yeah, I absolutely oh. love him. RX7. RX7, I love it. And my it. partner does have one as well. Nice! See? <laughs> Bonus. Brilliant. Yeah, um, I quite like a Baths, but probably an RS3 saloon. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. I do like my Cosworth for an old school Ford. So there was a nice blue Cosworth just went by. I was like, ooh, nice. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. Like a, maybe an S body, like Sylvia. I like my 90s Jap stuff, so anything like that will get my attention. <laughs> yes, I agree, absolutely. Um, 
in I2M3. Yes, absolutely. Big dirty V8. Yes! <laughs> Love yeah, it. Nice <laughs> Oof. Now that's a tough one. Depends on whether you're going like old school or new school. They're both then. Old school. Anything old school V-dub. Okay. Um, if you're going to throw it back there, anything old Beamer as well. Yeah. Give me an E30. Guy to be in an E30. Yeah, mm -hmm. hands down. Yeah, absolutely. Newer one. Oof. I'm going to go Porsche. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Go a bit smart. Go a bit smart with. Any particular Porsche. model? Or just any Porsche? To be fair, the new Carreras are nice. Yeah. The new Carrera, mm -hmm. and I said maybe. Yeah. Okay. On that one. A few robins, I need a basket. Playing traffic, if you wanna play the faction, we don't act, we getting active, stacking cash and dodging taxes. My father was a Catholic, never taught me how to practice, but with music, I'm a Baptist. Chris and all these tracks, I bless these raps with. Standing in the middle of the mind. Okay, so we're gonna play a little game. So, all right. from one to ten. So he's a ten. He looks a ten. He's a ten. Okay. But. He drives a finance whip. What is he? Six. A six? Yeah. Okay. Probably about six, seven. Oh, a six or a seven. Okay. Depending if they can buy their own stuff for it. Okay. Okay. Mm, still a ten. Okay. Doesn't yeah. matter. Yeah. No judgment from you? No. Yeah, that's fine. Right. A six. A six. six. Okay, not bad. Everyone's got star somewhere. That's very true. Oh, no thanks. No thank you. Is that zero? <laughs> that's so by zero. zero, it's a zero. <laughs> oh, bloody hell. Well, it depends what finance whip it is. Good point, good point. <laughs> what would you rate him? Uh, five. A five, okay. Either loaded or broke. Loaded or broke, <laughs> okay. That's a good answer. A five. A five, okay. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> what is he? Ooh. Between one and 10. Can you go minus with that? Yes. Yeah, minus, minus. 10. <laughs> Minus 10. Minus 10. That's the lowest we've gone tonight. And he's a 10, but he has a locally hated sticker on his car. Oh, uh, three. A three? That yeah. high, huh? Oh, no. Oh, right. We'll go lower <laughs> then if you want. Two. That's fine. A two. He's a two. Yeah. Zero. Zero. Nice. Yeah. I like that. I could agree. Yeah. Minus one. Minus one. 100%. For sure. Yeah. Oh, God. Two. A two. A two. A two. A two. Um. Two. A two. <laughs> oh, I used to have one of them, so I can't comment on that. Oh, no. Guilty. <laughs> still a ten. I did peel it off. But yeah, still a ten. Still, still a, a ten. ten. A one. A one. Definitely a one. <laughs> oh, I was the one that put it there. <laughs> I was the one that put it there. I love it. <laughs> and he's a ten, but he only has an automatic license. Zero. Zero. I can't do mm -hmm. that. I can't do that. Right on. Two. Two. Certified two. Oh, minus one again. 100%. Great. <laughs> it's not that bad. An eight, because some people An can't eight. always drive manual for That's reasons. True. Medical reasons, you know. So. That's very true. Yeah. Brilliant. Zero. A zero. Okay. <laughs> oh, <is> oh no. <laughs> that door. Four. Four. <laughs> Four. Oh, that doesn't matter. No? No, because I've got my car, so he doesn't need one. <laughs> so it's still a ten? Still a ten. So still five, a ten. ten. Yeah, okay. absolutely. He's got a license, so five. Five? We're going for a five. Okay, <laughs> I love it. My Thank boyfriend's going to kill me. <laughs> does, he have, does, does he have a... He's got a full manual license, so that's oh. fine. Oh, that's okay then. That's fine, but he drives an auto. Oh, he drives a manual. Oh, he drives a manual. I'm just saying, like, answer these questions. Oh, got you. <laughs> oh, you got to get walking, mate. That's like minus 25. Get no. the bus. Get the, get bus. the bus. No passenger princess with that. Get you some money, they flocking, they all in your bubble. I've been popping this pimp and I'm patting my stat sheet. Got my old in the track meet. Everything that I drop gonna be hard as the last heat. Baby, come get your I've been having this motion, I move like a nurse, look, I can't give a how you feel. All of my partners that came up from nothing, you know that I can't keep it nothing but real. Need you a verse, better come with that paper and order, I'm booming, I'm charging them steep. I'm in your city, a total a week and a half, you know I ain't... So, and this is your car, so yep. let's talk a little bit about your car. So, my baby. what is your car, what year, what engine, let's go. Oh, blimey, 1971, Mark 1 Escort. Okay. Tax and MOT exempt, so yes. don't, don't get stung. Yes. Uh, 1600 cross flow. Uh, it's got a BCF2 Kent cam, uh, 
1300 Hepalite pistons, uh, skimmed flywheel. I call it my love-hate relationship, but you know, where else do you want it? Oh, it came from Australia. I yep. bought it back because my brother. He kind of gave me inspiration on it, so it's okay. got sentimental value. Do any welding to it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. I've done all the welding on it. So you weld yourself. Tell us a little yeah. bit about that. Well, I brought an old Mark II off my brother and he went, you won't finish it. So I had to pee on his bonfire and... Prove him wrong. Yeah, definitely. So I went to college, did like six, seven qualifications in welding and engineering and come back and went, mm -hmm. Beautiful. We want to see some, some beautiful weld porn. That's what we want to see. <laughs> some beautiful welds. Oh, so what's your favourite thing about your escort? The smiles for miles. The smiles for miles. <laughs> okay, smiles per hour, not miles Yeah, per definitely. Hour. Okay. Puts a grin on my face every time I drive it. Absolutely, and it's nice because it's, it's a classic and I feel like they really do that. You feel so connected yeah, to the road. Yeah, you feel alive in yes. it. Not like when you go in a new car and it's like... Mm. You feel really disconnected in yeah. a new car, I feel. because yeah, the car drives itself, doesn't it? Yeah. Whereas this has got no power steering, mm -hmm. no air con. No air con, <laughs> no electric windows. No, not No enough. mod con. No. That's fantastic. Okay, when did, when did you build the engine? Oh, blimey, this one, it's well, You've done more than one? <laughs> well, I built the first one and I took it to work and I killed it. Oh, no. So, yeah, this is the second one. Fab. So, it's only done like 500 miles. Around that. On this engine? Yeah. 500 miles. When yeah. did you do that? A uh, couple of months ago. A couple of months ago. Yeah. At home? Well, in my mate's garage. In your mate's garage? Yeah. Nice. So you, you're reluctant to pay anybody to do any work on this for you. <laughs> you're, a, you're a proper <laughs> DIY girl. Well, I've got a mate that helps me if I get if I struggle. Yeah, we all do. We yeah. all do. We can't do everything ourselves. Uh, well, we can try. No, we, we can <laughs> certainly try. Yeah, hell yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Did you say this was like in memory of your brother then? Yeah. 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 He, 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 di he died of cancer like two years ago. So, and like I used to ring him up and say, oh, how do I do this and how do I do that? And he'll go, oh, you do this and you do that. So I was like, yeah, I'm bringing it back. Oh, that's so sweet. That's so lovely. So you just bring it out in summer? Well, I've only been back a year, so. So you're going to be running this every summer or are you going to oh, daily yeah. it in the winter? Oh, I don't know. Will it fall apart? Will it rust oh, away? Oh, no, it don't want to. I'll be there welding it again. <laughs> <laughs> and you can, see? Yeah. I love it. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for speaking to us, Joy. Oh, thank God. you. All the best. So tell us a little bit about your car. What is it? The age? What engine? What have you done to it? Right, Let's go. so this is my Nissan Stager S1. Um, I think she's a 96. I could be wrong because I've had two and I get confused. Um, <laughs> Um, so on my stager we have put the GTR front end on it, um, still needs some tweaking, still needs some work. It's a, a 2.5 um, RB Neo DET, D, DE, it's not the DE, it's the DE, it will be a DET, so it's non-turbo at the moment. Okay. Um, we're taking off-road at winter and we are having a complete respray. Um, we are having the turbo fitted, exhaust and all the fun stuff, um, which I can't wait for. Big fat turbo. Um, gone for my strum wheels. They were a gift from my partner, so that was my husband, so that's great. Uh, it was uh, imported from Japan. Japanese, so love it. It's, it's everything inside, it's kilometres, my sat nav's all Japanese, it still thinks that I'm in Japan. Um, and it keeps telling me I'm going the wrong way, but I can't do anything about it because it's in Japanese and I can't change the language. So. Um, but yeah, I don't know what else to tell you really. It's, so it's having a respray, are you going to go for a completely different colour? I don't oh. know at the minute. I think just to tidy it up, we'll get all the fiberglass the same colour as the rest of the car. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm really happy with it. I want to bring the back end down a little bit. I've got a set of BCs to go on the back just to bring the back end down a bit. Um, BC girly, yeah. Other than that, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how it's coming out. So the bonnet needs a few tweaks and I've got a new one to go on and stuff. But yeah, she is essentially a Skyline family car. It's like got it. all the same running gear, same engine, all of that sort of stuff. All of the all of the parts between the GTR and the Stager are or interchangeable. So it's it's basically a it's a it's a Skyline family car. I love it. What's your favourite modification to your car so far? My wheels. Your wheels. My wheels. There's something special. Huh? I love my wheels. Mind you, I love the front end as well. I just love the car. It's beautiful. <laughs> I just love the car. So, but my favourite modification is is my wheels they mean everything to me what is something that you are most proud of that you've done to your car hmm. 
something that makes you go, yeah, I'm the front end. Yeah, the front end. The front end, end. the GTR the front, front end. Yeah, I love the front end because I love the confusion people feel when they see it. Like they see me coming up behind them in the headlight, like in the mirror, and they see a GTR, and then I go past them and they're like, what is that? And I love that. I love that reaction. I love the confusion and. I, I'm not going to lie, I love the attention it brings. <laughs> so. What is something that you wish you could do if money was not an issue? If money was not an issue, I'd finish it. <laughs> I'd get it finished. It would be in the booth, it would be painted, it'd be out looking fresh and it'd be ready with nothing left to do. It would be finished. And I'd be out of insurance for a year. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh, lovely. Thank you for joining us today, Lauren. Thank, Thank you. So much. Thank I you. love your car. It's Thank beautiful. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Okay guys, I've been your host Jess. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time. Sabe how to hold a pull up. Soon as we done I'm a roll up. Full as a better pull up.